Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how to calculate the molecular weight of peptides. So first let's see what are peptides, then we will solve the problem. So peptide is a short chain of amino acid. These amino acids are connected one another in a sequence by a bond is known as peptide bond. So peptide bond links all the amino acid in a sequence. Okay, then your peptide may be in a linear form or it may be in a cyclic form. Then types of peptides, if uh, your peptide has two amino acids which is linked by a peptide bond, then it is known as dipeptide and if your peptide has three amino acids, then it is known as tripeptides and if it is, has four amino acids, linked as tetrapeptides and so on. Okay, let's see about the peptide bond formation in dipeptide. Okay, so, okay, so dipeptide has two amino acids which is linked by a peptide bond. So consider this is your amino acid 1 and this is your amino acid 2. Okay, so this peptide bond is formed by the removal of water molecule from the carboxyl group of one amino acid and amino group of another amino acid. And there will be a covalent bond formation between the C1 of one an amino acid and N2 of another amino acid. Okay. So this C double bond ONH is known as peptide bond. Okay. So to make a peptide bond, there will be a removal of one water molecule. So this concept is important for calculating the molecular weight of peptides. Next, let's see the problem. The first problem, the molecular weight of valine and serine are 117 Dalton, 105 Dalton. So, molecular weight of valine is 117 Dalton and molecular weight of serine is 105 Dalton respectively. So, this valine and serine form a dipeptide valine serine. Okay. Then, you have to find out the molecular weight of the dipeptide in Daltons. So, molecular weight of dipeptide, you have to calculate as we know that valine and serine are linked by a peptide bond okay so this peptide bond is formed by a removal of water molecule okay so to calculate the molecular weight of valine and serine first you have to sum up the molecular weight of valine 117 then serine 105 then you have to subtract the molecular weight of water because here there will be a removal of water molecule to form a peptide bond between valine and serine Okay, so 117 plus 105 minus 18. 18 is the molecular weight of water molecule. So 117 plus 105 is, is equal to 222 minus 18 that is, is equal to 204. So correct option is 204. Next problem, what will be the molecular weight of tripeptide? Okay, so tripeptide has three amino acids. So here tryptoban, glycine, histidine. Okay, molecular weight of tryptoban, glycine and histidine are 204.2, 75.07, 155.2 respectively. What is the molecular weight of tripeptide? So tripeptide has three amino acids which are linked by two peptide bonds. So there will be a removal of two water molecule for each peptide bond formation. Let's calculate the molecular weight of tripeptide. So here the amino acids are tryptoban, glycine, histidine. Molecular weight of tryptoban is 204.2 and glycine is 75.07. Histidine is 155.2. So first you have to sum up the molecular weight of these three amino acids. Then you have to subtract the molecular weight of water. So here there will be a 2 peptide bond formation. So you have to subtract molecular weight of 2 water molecule. So 2 into 18. If you sum up these 3, you will get 434.47 minus 2 into 18 is equal to 36. The answer is 434.47 minus 36 is 398.47. Okay, third problem is what will be the molecular weight of the peptide with sequence ELTTEK following its backbone cyclization to cyclic ELTTEK. Okay, in the last two problem we have seen how to calculate the molecular weight of linear peptide. So in this problem we are going to see how to calculate molecular weight of cyclic peptides. Okay, and the molecular weights of E is 147, L is 131, T 119, K 
k is 146 okay okay before going to solve the problem let's see the difference between linear peptide and cyclic peptide okay so in linear peptide your amino acid 1 is linked to amino acid 2 and as amino acid 2 is linked with amino acid 3 uh, a peptide bond okay and in linear peptide there is no end to end connection okay there is no end to end connection whereas in cyclic peptide here you will have a end to end connection okay so here your amino acid 1 linked with the amino acid 2 and 2 is linked with amino acid 3 and 3 is also linked with amino acid 1 by a peptide bond okay so in linear peptide if you have n number of amino acid then you have n minus number of peptide bonds so see here if you you have three amino acid in the peptide and you have two peptide bonds okay then then for each peptide bond formation there will be a removal of water molecule okay so here for n number of amino acid you there will be a removal of n minus one number of water molecule okay, whereas in cyclic peptide if you have n number of amino acid in peptide you have n number of peptide bond okay so if you have three amino acids then there will be a three peptide bond formation and there will be a removal of three water molecules for each peptide bond so to calculate the molecular weight of uh, linear peptide you have to sum up the molecular weight of all the amino acids then you have to minus n minus one number of water molecules okay whereas in cyclic peptide to calculate the molecular weight of the peptide you have to sum up the molecular weight of all the amino acids then you have to subtract the n number of water molecule okay so in this problem your peptide is cyclic e l t t e k so here number of amino acid is 1 2 3 4 5 6 so number of amino acid is 6 so there will be a n number of peptide bond formation so 6 peptide bond formation and removal of water molecule is also 6 okay so to find the molecular weight of the cyclic peptide first you have to sum up the molecular weight of amino acid e l t t e k and then you have to subtract the molecular weight of 6 water molecule so molecular weight of E is 147, then L is 131 and T is 119, then once again T 119, then E 147, K 146. Okay, then minus 6 into molecular weight of water 18. So if you sum up all the molecular weight of amino acid, you will get 809, then 6 into 18 is equal to 108. Okay, so 809 minus 108 is your answer that is 701. Thank you. Thank you for watching my videos. If you like my videos, please do subscribe and share.